classic comfort food that we all love, which is the grilled cheese. And to do that, I'm going to combine two favorites, grilled cheese and pizza, into one. You can use whatever you like normally on your pizza and put it in your sandwich. One, two, three. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to whip up a little bit of garlic butter. Of course, you can buy it pre-made in the store, or if you don't have the time, you can just use regular butter. Uh, we've got some which I've softened in the microwave. It doesn't take long, 10 seconds, or it starts to melt. I've got some crushed up garlic. If you uh, would rather use some dry garlic powder or dried garlic granules, you can. And just a little bit of dried parsley for color. I used about, uh, well, I used two small cloves of garlic. They were pretty small though, so you could probably get away with one normal size. And we're just gonna mix that all up, and then that is ready to go. All right, now it's time to assemble this sandwich. We're gonna start with the cheese. We're gonna add a little sauce. I like to put the cheese down first so the sauce doesn't get the bread soggy and you don't need too much. I'm also gonna add a little bit of basil. Now, if I had some fresh basil, I'd probably just layer it in there because it would almost be like the lettuce to our sandwich. It would be great. I'm also gonna add this mousse pepperoni. And I mean, just think of what you like to put on your pizza. You could have ham, you could have I mean, I myself like artichoke and spinach and mushrooms and peppers, all those things. You can add in whatever you like. I'm just gonna put a bit of Parmesan cheese on top. And then I'm going to take the garlic butter and put it on the other side. And now this sandwich is ready for the frying pan. So why stick to pepperoni when you've got so many other options? I'm gonna make a second sandwich featuring a lot of the vegetables that I love in, I'm on, I should say, my pizza. So same thing, I'm gonna butter this. All right, I have got my assembled pizza grilled cheeses in the cast iron, and I haven't preheated it. These sandwiches are gonna take a little while to cook, and I think that's all right. I'm gonna put the um, burner at about four, and I'm just gonna let them heat up slowly. The reason I want them to heat up slowly is because they're fairly full inside, and I don't want the bread to be cooked before all of the ingredients on the inside have had the chance to heat through and the cheese to melt. Okay, these are looking good. I did cook it most of the time with the lid on and I'm gonna transfer these over to the cutting board. All right, moment of truth. 
Let's see how he's chased. Take terror.